what's up and welcome back to my channel for today's video I'm doing a day in the life video solely because it was something that was been requested on both my morning routine and my night routine it was not to just vlog kind of like my morning or my night but actually take you guys through a full day so for today I'm giving you guys a complete peek at what a day in my life kind of looks like I mean every day is never the same it's always kind of different but today is Friday so it's gonna be a fun kind of day to film a day in my life I figured it would be a good one and also today was a little different too because I stayed at Greg's last night so when I woke up, I obviously wasn't at home. <laughs> And that's kind of setting my day off a little bit later than usual, but anytime I sleep at his house, I kind of already know that's gonna happen. And it takes me like 45 minutes to drive home be just because of early morning traffic in Toronto. Something I've been doing recently though, and it's something that I actually started because I was waking up and just kind of feeling just so anxious in the mornings for some reason. Instead of waking up and just like going at my to-do list right away, I decided to just start reading in the morning. Come this habit that I've like honestly grown obsessed with. I'm reading a fiction and a non-fiction at the same time. So when I wake up and read a chapter of a fiction book, it's kind of like, you know, you're still dreaming because you're in another world. And then I read my non-fiction, which just kind of sets my intention for the day because it's always something like you're learning something and you're gaining some knowledge. And I just feel like it's such a good way to go into my day. I actually just finished this book this morning. I just finished reading Wanderlust. I had two chapters left. So instead of reading one chapter this morning, I figured screw it, we're already running late. So let's just finish off the whole book. It's such a bittersweet feeling finishing a book. I fall in love with fictional characters. I'm sad that this one's over. I'd probably rate it. I want to say like three and a half or a four out of five stars. It wasn't like one of those things where you're reading it like JK Rowling and her writing is just rich Not that this was poorly written by any means But I just JK Rowling and so many other authors they just set the bar so high So that's why I'd give this a four I like it because it's about traveling There's a really cute kind of love story in it and it's just the characters in general There's like little little senior citizens in it and they're just so cute so Definitely recommend if you guys are looking for a new fictional book to pick this up and then I read a chapter of sacred powers I'm about more than halfway through this one. Honestly, this one, I'm I'm really stretching it out because I'm so in love with it that I don't want it to end. Like, it's honestly changing my life. So now that my reading is done, I'm gonna go update my Goodreads. I have to charge my camera a little bit so that we can continue our day in the life. I think I'm gonna do some meditation and some yoga. Today's a bit more of a chill work day, so I have more time to kind of be a little bit flexible with the things that I do today. I wanna try and get a run in and then I have to edit a video. But either way, grab a mug. Take a seat, stay a while, and welcome to a day in my life. Let us begin.
have to do for work include editing a video that goes live next week. Like it normally takes me anywhere from five to sometimes eight hours to edit a video depending on what the video is. I think today I might be able to crunch this video out nice and quick because I've already started editing it. So lately what I like to do for projects like editing videos or anything that takes kind of more than I would say three hours, I like to do this thing where I will punch in a timer on my phone, work for that block of time, and then as soon as the timer goes off, I'll give myself 15 minutes to do a smaller task for the day, whether it's like, I don't even know, like I have to go pick up parcels or if I need to go grab groceries for dinner tonight, taking Bentley for a walk, little like smaller tasks like that to break up the bigger tasks. So I'm gonna put an hour timer on my phone right now, work on this video for an hour, and then once the hour's up, I'll break it up with doing something else and then get back to editing it again. Sitting here with a cup of coffee and my laptop and my dog, you guys really are getting a true look at a day in my life. And go. one hour down and I actually got a lot done. Put around a bit, I have some cleaning up to do, I have a couple of things I need to do in like my, my office space. Basically I'm gonna use this time to give my brain just a tad and a bit of a break to help with my productivity. Get used to it. Hello, um, I'm just uploading my video. I actually just finished it a few minutes ago. Okay, I'm officially not working out today. <laughs> Whatevs. Okay, so I'll see you. You're gonna be here in 30? Be there in 25 minutes. They say stuffed eggplant. I'm gonna assume that means there's cheese in there. And like. Yeah. I wanna do the updates. Kaylin's, her camera died. My camera did die. It almost broke. Would you like to see yourself? Oh god, good luck. It's okay. So, Kaylin's camera died. This is how she talks when she's vlogging. I'm just trying to, you know, replicate her and her style here. And we ordered Greek food. It looks great. <laughs> she got no cheese, no feta, and I love tzatziki. She can't eat tzatziki. Sucks for her. Those are live updates from Greg. Now you guys know all the updates. My camera did die, but I actually finished editing. I feel like this is so close to me. I need my tripod. So, um, I actually finished editing my vlog just in time for Gregory to call me. Uh, I just showered really quick so that we can eat. Unfortunately, we were gonna try and go to Hawaii, which is something that you guys will see in my plan with me video. I kind of throw it, like I write on my calendar that we're gonna be in Hawaii, but unfortunately with flights and stuff, it just ended up not working out. So instead we're gonna try and see if there's somewhere else we can literally jump a plane to in less than a week for my birthday. We're gonna figure it out. It's we're gonna, gonna figure fun. it out. It's gonna be a good time. I guess we'll let you guys know if we end up booking a trip somewhere. And you're probably hungry too. Do you, Do you want your dinner? food? He's gonna have his. Meatloaf. So anyway, let's eat food. Let's do it. Just found a place to go and bake it. I'll toast Froyo to that. 
sits. Thanks, babe. Well, hello there to you too. So it's now officially Saturday. I didn't end up filming an outro to this video, so I figured I would update you guys on the recent events that you missed. Greg and I literally ended up hunting all night. I think we may have found somewhere that we can swing to go away for my birthday. It happens, it happens. I'm not gonna stress about it. I also just realized I did not plug these lights in. That's better. But aside from that, we ended up doing that till I'm not kidding you, like midnight and then crash. Woke up today, I got some work done, went out with my friend Kat and her friends, and then I just got back and realized that I had no outro to this video. I'm not gonna lie guys, I've had a few mimosas. Back in January, I crossed over one full year of living here in Toronto, and so in general, I've just been kind of pushing myself to get outside more, to go see more of Toronto, just to go explore more places, try more vegan restaurants, break that winter hibernation, I guess you could say. day in a life I guess I'll kind of update you guys as to where I feel like my life is kind of at this year I've I've been taking my goals more seriously even just reading more reading my books more doing meditation doing more yoga running like everything in general I feel like my life has created such a shift and in such a non sappy way there are so many things that I want to do and there's so many things I want to see and there's so many things I want to accomplish everything in my life has kind of clicked into place. I'm so excited to see what else this year holds. Like I said, I'm a few mimosas deep, but I'm feeling really, I'm feeling all the feels, guys. <laughs> and I guess too, throwing in the fact that I turn 24 this week and I, I can't even begin to think of what 24 might have waiting around the corner. And of course, I'll, I'll continue to document it via mp4 literally no better way I would like to be spending my life. Thank you guys so much for making 23 my favorite year and just the ability to do what I do it honestly is it, it dumbfounds me I sometimes can't even think about it because I'm afraid that if I touch it it'll break and I hope that even if it just helps one person feel the same way that you guys make me feel that's all I would care about at the end of the day because I think everybody deserves to be happy everybody deserves to feel that connection of, of everything feeling like it's exactly where it needs to be and 23 for me really put that into focus. I hope you guys enjoyed this little day in the life. I've been playing around with the idea of doing like a work week in my life and just kind of vlogging my entire work week at a glance to give you guys a chance to see what that kind of looks like. So if you guys want to see that, definitely let me know. Also, I'm going to leave my meditation playlist down below. I just released it literally minutes ago. And aside from that, we'll see all of you guys on Wednesday. We're going to put your paw over the screen. Meow. Go ahead and sleep it up Go and hide